Okay. I forgot to turn on my headphones. No, I didn't. <laughs> turn those bad <laughs> Good night. Turn those bad boys back on. Game, you want to give me audio? Nope. You can hear it, but I can't. Let's go to advanced audio properties. Oh, fuck. Okay, there it is. Good. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> um, blah, blah, blah. I might do story progression today, but I probably won't because I'm me. Ta-da. Oh. <laughs> I fix it. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Bam. Hi, Sky Infinite. How's it going? All right. Hi, Wondering Robot. How's it going? Just get into the game. Crack open my water. Delicious. Be great if I could see the game on my monitor. Don't know why I didn't do that. Okay, so we're not where we were. That's thing one. We are we are no longer where we were. And the reason for that is I was like, well, I'm gonna go do side stuff while I wait to stream. So um oh you can't hear me. That's weird. Okay, you can hear me. All right. I'm going to say a cartoon character. You're going to tell me what cartoon character I say. Cat dog. Cat dog. Anyway, um, we're at a labyrinth in the sky, in the sky. We're at a, we're at a sky labyrinth. So that's where we are. So I'm going to just go in the shrine real quick. Knock that out. Get on in, Jerry. There we go. So yeah, welcome to the, the, the Sky Labyrinth. How far in am I? N not much further than the last time I was. I made no story progression last time. I was like, I'm just gonna do uh, side stuff. I'm just gonna explore. You know, unlock some places, do some things. I think I can show you. I now have only four regions remaining to unlock on my map. Yippee skip. I don't think I did anything new in the depths. Got a whole bunch of old map uh, marks to find. You were in here last time? We, we met Sidon. That's it. That's all we did. What's this? Okay. Interesting. Ah. Uh, I see I've done that at the wrong time. Okay. So we make low gravity. This is, this thing's gone now, right? Okay, there it is. Where, where's the ball? Oh, there's the ball. Hit it! Okay, low gravity, it should push that all the way up there. Got it. Okay. Now I think I have to get on that. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Thank you for not killing me. Woo! Okay. Ow. 
Um, all right. Do I have to... Do I have to put something in there? Yeah, I have to put a ball in there. Oh, there's the ball. Hey, ball. No, 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 up, 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 up. Oh, wait, no, you're supposed to go up there. Okay, what happens? That's really high. That's too high. That's too high. I see now. All right, Sky Infinite. Bye. Okay, and then we turn the gravity off. Or sorry, we make the gravity normal. Oh, interesting. So maybe like halfway through it's shoot, we do that. Will there be DLC for this? I'm not fucking Doug Bowser. I don't know. Who think I am, Miyamoto? No, I have no idea. There hasn't been any announced. Okay, that goes in there and then boop. We restore the gravity and we get it in the basket. Okay, I didn't see where the treasure chest is. I don't care where the treasure chest is. Yeah, Derek, more Zelda. I promised myself that this would be the, the last like continuous week of me playing this game. Mostly because of the drive. Uh, more Zelda is greater than less Zelda. That is true. Um, because the drive to Ohio and me like getting re-acclimated to Ohio um, will mean that like I will one, not be able to stream games as much and two, probably won't like I if you see me playing this, there'll be kind of a huge time skip from uh, from stream to stream in terms of like progress. But like, yeah, this will probably still be in the mix. I'll probably still be playing this game like maybe all the way back to when I get back to why am I like dripping? What am I wet from? Anyway, um, I'll probably be playing this all the way back to like, like when I'm back in Texas, maybe this game's just so big. And I'm just not one to try and like rush through a game or play a game for dozens of hours um, in like a weekend. I just, I can't do it. So, you know, eventually I'll get through this. <laughs> Guess we'll see what this is about. Activate. How long are we going to be in No Man's Land? Um, start date is May 30th. <sighs> Do some math real quick. Yes, start date is May 30th. Four terminals in this main act between the mall. What is this? What is, what is this, like, divine beast bullshit that I just read? Uh, activate the terminals. Um, so, the start date's May 30th, so Tuesday. And then end date is, I think July 31st. I think it's strike date. Um, so yeah. Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. Oh, this has its own music. That's neat. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll be in Worcester. W O O S T E R. Uh, hanging out, relaxing, all cool. Nope, 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 nope. All right. So I went into a pretty cool circle here. So 
So is this... Yeah, so it seems like the only way that I can go is by uh, doing one of these. I think I made it through. I'm not really sure. That kind of disoriented me. There's something down there. Gotta kinda nudge my way through that. There we go. Driving from uh, San Diego to upstate New York on Juneteenth to Independence Day. Well, golly. Sounds like fun. I figure you're not gonna be in Ohio for uh whoop up 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 up. Gonna die. About to die. There we go. Dying. That made no sense what I just did. Oh, fuck me. Uh, but if you do happen to be in Ohio for 4th of July, we do have a downtown 4th of July Pops concert held by the, the Ohio Light Opera Orchestra. And yeah, I guess the, the, the chorus is there too. The singers, I should say, are there too. Um, Okay. Nope, this is bad. Wait, is there something down there? No, the answer is no, there isn't. I'm dropping here. Nope, 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 nope. I wanna I wanna stop right here, please. Thank you. Okay, well I'm here now. Oh, better than the last Zelda. Um I'm kinda tired of open world open world Zelda, I'm not gonna lie. I won't mind when there's another more linear one. Uh, preferably a remake of a Zelda I like. Oh, there's the terminal. There's the terminal I need. Um. Like, if it was a remake of... Um. Oracle of Ages, that'd be neat. Because the Padres are playing. Alright, well. Hey, if you happen to be, like, nearby. And want to come to... Oh, incredibly patriotic and slightly too hot outdoor event in downtown Worcester. Come on down! Otherwise, yeah, let me know when you're in town. If you want to come to a show, let me know. I have, think I have some comp tickets uh, available. Yo, Amy Bear, how's it going? A top of the Mario S to you as well. Oh, Amy Bear, you reminded me by your presence because you keep uh, suggesting throne. Gifts. I did change the throne address, so if you if you do happen to buy me something, which you are not obligated to do, but if you do happen to do it, uh, that will go to my address in Ohio now, since I remember to do that. You are known for your massive patriotism. I mean, like it's it's always the same <laughs> stuff. I don't think the concerts changed in like a decade. Um, it's always on Force of Salute. I did like your meme. I couldn't open it on, except on my computer because I don't have Insta. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was funny. Oh, there's one right there. Um, so it took me a while to look at it. I was like, all oh, right, I don't have Insta. I had to look at this on my computer. Okay, that's two done. I'm a teacher, I'm allowed to have an Insta. I just really don't want to use any Facebook property. I'm I'm almost at the point where I'm like, you know, I could just not use Twitter. <laughs> I'm almost at that point where I'm like, I could just stop using Twitter. I 
I'm I'm kind of over social media. I definitely need to never watch a single YouTube short ever again. They rot my brain. They they're just boomer TikToks and recycle TikToks, really. And I gotta stop watching them. They're so bad. I like YouTube too much. I like watching things on YouTube, but I cannot. I need to stop watching shorts. Like I need to stop watching shorts. They're so bad. They're so fucking bad. There's, they are garbage media. They are literally just junk food for my brain. Oh, look at chest. I would be better off actually like reading one of the books that I have on my Kindle or literally doing anything. No, I mean, YouTube shorts are just YouTube's version of TikToks and a lot of them are just re-uploaded TikToks. Like, almost brazenly to the point where they will still have the TikTok, um, like, uh, iconography on there. And you're like, oh, they did not really try at all with this. Land, please land. Um, but like, they're quick and easy. Just like, you know, TikToks are. They're quick and easy. And I'm like, I just need to stop. Did I already go this one? I have not been paying attention to where I've been going. Okay, you can get fall damage in low gravity. Hey, we learned something today. Same with Insta Reels. It's just like, they're just so pointless. There's one like content creator for Pokemon called Eam Swizzle that's always like trying to create the next controversy with Pokemon. And I'm like, they're like 10 of the worst things that the Pokemon company ever did are like the worst shinies that ever uh, disgrace our eyes and I'm like I like that's just one example there's another one where it's called the game is rated or hated and it's a guy just fucking like opening a pack of Pokemon cards and I'm like this isn't content this isn't anything <laughs> why am I here and then people who like just put some popular song on and it's like a video of their cat and like you're like oh yeah like funny cat video no it's not even it's just a video of their cat that's all it is it's just their cat like lying down on the floor <laughs> hey sir totada and i'm like why am i watching this Even for TikTok, I do have a TikTok because I wanted more chances to win race giveaways. <laughs> um, I like, and I only follow Ray. And like, I like watching his content because of course I like watching his fucking content. But I wish every time I get on TikTok, it's like, it's because like Elise will show me something. And it's like, do you want to watch this TikTok instead? No, I don't. Pff, I, you know, I should have known Tina has a TikTok. I don't know why I didn't know Tina has a TikTok. As someone who's always adopted a cat, that, like, that's cool if you want to share her with your friends. Like, pff, if you even want to send me, like, DM me, uh, like, a, a photo or video of it. I love it. But, like, people share that stuff as, as if that's, like, content as in something that they are sharing that is a moneymaker for them. And I'm like, I hate it. I really hate it because it's not interesting at all. And yet I still expose my brain to it because I'm a fucking idiot. So anyway, uh, I'm going to try really hard to, that's going to be like a little resolution. I'm just going to stop watching uh, YouTube shorts as much as I can. I, I know, I think Tina talked about this, that like, I think this was the last time her and Ray played Stardew together. The like various um, extensions, browser extensions, and there's one that that will eliminate the shorts. Like it will just completely hide shorts from you. And I'm like, maybe I should just get that. Get the get rid of shorts extension. All right, this feels new. Dot a twelve year old kitty from a rescue last month. Neat. Or I should just have the discipline and say like this this stuff ooh big battery nice this stuff sucks don't watch this stuff I should really have the discipline 
to say you just don't don't watch this. Okay, I'm over here. Okay, that's the entrance. I missed a terminal somehow. Well, there's the one in here, right? How how do I get in there? Is that the one I'm supposed to get to? I guess in theory I could um I could ascend. The real question is like is there is there a lower point that I need to ascend to? You see the name of it and you go, what BS is it? No, I'm tired of it. I'm fucking tired of it. I think I have to go all the way back around because I missed something crucial. I guess in theory I could go back the way that I came. Or is that too high up? Oh yeah, that's way too high up now. Okay. So we just had to go all the way back around. Because I'm dumb. At least this labyrinth is like more linear than most where others are like, yeah, figure it out, idiot. Who knows where you have to go? Okay. Uh, I should land here and rest. Let me land. Thank you. No, I'm just like... I can't. I cannot do this anymore. There, there's, there's no intellectual or cultural value to what YouTube Shorts is serving me. I think I can say that with utmost certainty. This is an interesting take on um, the labyrinth. Like, I have to go to the labyrinth on the ground to get to the to get gain access to the labyrinth in the sky, and then I have to do something in the labyrinth in the sky. Okay. So we're here now. Okay, we're back here near the like, in or near the center. Will you let me ascend? No. But this, there's the center right there. You're also not letting me get any higher with this, interestingly. It's also a dead end. Okay. There's no such thing, Kai. It's it's all bullshit. There's no, there was never any story progression to begin with. I'd like to get higher, please. Um, why won't the game make me go up, up, and away? Okay. I guess that was it. Did I get this terminal already? Big question. I did. Okay. <sighs> this is less than helpful. <laughs> this is uh, far less helpful than I thought it would be. Okay. Oh no, man! I raw dog reality. It's uh, an interesting choice that I've made in life. It's been good. I'm definitely at the point where I'm like, I should take a break from playing this game a lot. Okay. Can I get can I get that sweet, sweet updraft? Thank you. Alright, what do you got for me round here? 
This seems new and interesting for me. That's nothing. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Land. Just land. Just land. Just land. There you go, bud. Yeah, Sam. You know, it's Sam, I've made peace with it. What's Warhammer Bolt Gun? I feel like that's a game that is too, too cool for me. Is the best way they put it. If it's a shooty game, that's a game that's usually too cool for me. Splatoon is too cool for me. If, and it's, you know, Splatoon, so, you know. Uh, okay. Have I gone to this one? I have no clue where I am. Alright, I've done that one. Okay, and it's once again showing me pretty close to the center. So, do I, like, explore around here now? I swear the last one has to be in the center here. Like, I do see a terminal there. You have over 100 hours? What do I have? Also, I bought Bioshocks. I don't think I'm ever going to play them. I do not think I'm ever going to play them. Only 30 hours, huh? That's Okay, that's actually a lot for a game. <laughs> don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 30 hours is a lot of time to spend on a game. Bioshock is shooty. I know that. But I've seen so many people play it, and I think it's cool. And it was 10 bucks for all three. And I'm like, you know what? Be an idiot. Be an idiot and trust that Nintendo is going to let your, uh, your game purchases carry over to the next console, whatever that is. Be just a real dumb person right now. Okay, is this a whole bunch of nothing? Feels like a whole bunch of nothing. I, I love Infinite. I love... Oh my gosh, I watched like a super cut of Bioshock Infinite. It must have been three or four times. I love that thing so much. Alright, that's the outer edge. And you're letting me climb it. Interesting. No, no, no. I want you to jump off. There you go, bud. I need to find a place to land. Ooh, like now. Okay. Okay. You feel like Nintendo would be beyond stupid? God, I really hope that they just kind of make a continuous library. I, like, I cannot praise Microsoft enough for their choices when it comes to their platform. And it feels unfortunate that not more people are, like, fans of Microsoft because they just do way too much that is very consumer-focused. Same with Steam. Although Steam, they're just like a single platform that exists on basically a single area of the community. So that makes sense in a lot of ways. You think the next console needs to be a hardware update? I do too. <laughs> That's like, give me the Switch with like Hall Effect joysticks on the Joy-Con. Maybe actual triggers instead of buttons. So we can start getting some like really cool analog trigger stuff again. And then like you're done. That's all you have to do. Oh yeah, and I guess make it more powerful. Huh. Right. <laughs> and then like say, oh yeah, we use the same architecture, so use the same hard or software. I'd be fine with that. I, like I said, if they use the same OS architecture, I would not be mad at all. It's really quick. It's really snappy. Um, I think they might implement actual themes. Because I think their fear of doing really anything um, with the OS, especially with the home menu. One, the more you allow users to kind of peek inside to how the home menu works, the more you allow for 
software-based attacks on the system in order to crack it open and then homebrew it. That's thing one. That's why saves are um are are locked onto the NAND and cannot be backed up locally at all. Because Nintendo learned from the 3DS and from the Wii U that it's really easy to exploit their systems through save data. Um, okay, I have no idea where I'm going. I've already been here, so we must be going this way to make progress. Um, but I also think that they feared things getting too bogged down. If you ever, for one thing, a Wii U, Wii U doesn't even have customizable anything, but God, that OS is so slow. Um, and then on top of that, the 3DS, even the new 3DS with custom themes and badges and things, it takes forever for the home menu to load now by comparison. This one there, we're here. Took no time at all. And I think... Nintendo really appreciated the ability to just be like, home menu, back in the game, home menu, back in the game, without really any, any sort of hitch in that whatsoever. Oops. Okay. And I, um, yeah, I would tend to agree with them on that point. It would be nice that there was customization though. Where the hell do we go? Is, is going to that outer wall the answer? Like, do I have to climb up that outer wall? It's giving me a lot of opportunity to, um, replenish my stamina, that's for sure. Because, yeah, I can climb up here. Oh! Interesting. But wrong, because I'm not going to make it. Oh, no, nope, look at this. Uh-oh. And I die. We. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I mean, that's how they started with the 3DS, they they did basically basic white, basic, and then they added basic black, blue, red, and yellow. Very strange they never added green. Um, do I, I don't do this all over again, do I? Um, But yeah, they added those. They added those basic colors. And then they said, oh yeah, you can also like customize with your own theme. And then they added the Nintendo badge arcade with that bunny character. And they said, oh yeah, you can put badges on your home screen now. And I think I paid, I probably paid like close to 20 bucks to buy the ability to play, to do more turns on that game. It was definitely a microtransaction thing that I did not need to spend money on, and I definitely did spend money on. There we go, okay. Um, but for Switch, I mean, different colors would be cool. Different basic themes would be cool, but like, I do like when they offer different layouts. Like when modders show different layouts for the Switch menu. So I wouldn't mind that. Um, it'd be nice if like pinned games, like games you could pin to the home menu or pinned folders. That would be neat. They kind of implemented folders, but they didn't. What do they call this? Groups. <laughs> That's a good one, Pat Spencer. Games that justify my eight switches. Ah, oh, Pass Me is so funny. <laughs> what do we got in here? Yeah, these are all bangers. 
But like it stinks that these aren't like groups are not part of um It stinks that groups are not part of the like overall surface level of this that you have to go to groups or you have to go to all software and then go to groups. It'd be neat if you could create groups or folders that you can pin, but like even just the ability to pin software, like let's say I always want to have Pokemon uh, Shield or Mario Kart close to where I am. So like I know that it's going to be at least like the second or third thing in my menu. It's not going to get moved down. Even when I add new software, when I play other games, it's going to be available to me as close to the front as I can. I'd love that. So you could pin in theory one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Being able to pin eleven different pieces of software would be awesome. And that's just a nice design feature of like, oh yeah, we can make that available to you. All right, this will answer my question real quick if I need to do this again. Survey says no. Okay. So I still have to get to the last terminal, which I still think is the one in the center. Um, this is all bullshit. I have to go back over here. Um, God, that was funny. Guess I have to say nine now. That's gross. Let's let's count together. Original switch. Uh Teal Switch Light. Pokemon Switch Light. Teal Switch Light again. Because I'm an idiot. Um BDSP Switch Light. Animal Crossing Switch. White OLED. Scarlet and Violet OLED. Tears of the Kingdom OLED. Can you imagine if I still owned all of those? That's what I'm thinking, Sam. Kai, this is my favorite system. And like, I've, I've pivoted into actually like owning multiple ones as collector's items as well. Collector's items that I'll use. But collector's items as well. I like look at my throne wish list and go to the very end and tell me what you see at the very end of my throne wish list. Why don't you? Why don't you just pop on over there, exclamation point wish list, and find out what's uh what's happening over there? Oh, I'm back out here. How'd that happen? Hmm. I don't want to be back out yet. I gotta figure out this shit. It's, I mean, it's just got so many fucking good games. Like, good games built, purpose built for it, and good games. Um, just from other, uh, from the past. Okay, there's that one I already got. That's the third one. So, I now need to figure out how the hell do we get to the last one. I've been down here. There's not much of an updraft here. That's not good. Yeah, it's not gonna push me back up. Okay, this takes me. Have I been to this one? Please say no. Please say no. I just went in a really big circle there. We're back near this outer wall. I need to uh, regain stamina. But I don't see a point for me to do that. There it is. I'm gonna try and climb up and get that treasure chest. Oh yeah! When I did that, I was like, I feel so cool right now. And I knew that that was probably a common thing. I was like, I don't care. I feel like the boss of this game. Okay. So I think doing this is the answer. Oh shit. 
Okay, just climb normal. Yeah, yeah, that's what I found out too, Derek. I was like, I'm just gonna follow. I was like, let me actually follow really close, and then it gave me the prompt for it. I was like, well, yeah, grab it. Gra obviously, grab it, please. Okay, I really do not care about that, but I'm getting it anyway. That's neat. All right, so then what's my answer here? This isn't the answer. Like, going up higher is not the answer here. I just want to believe it is. But, like, I can't stay here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. For, like, a brief moment, I'm allowed to stay there. It's time to use the tiniest lip to regain stamina. Everybody's favorite mechanic. <laughs> well, I know you could pick up star fragments. Like, the thing was picking them up while falling. Like, you can pick them up while you're, like, falling from the sky. Because they will spawn sometimes while you're falling from the sky near you. And as you're falling, you can actually chase them and catch up to them. A lot of times you can overtake them by accident. We were, my amiibo were respecting me today, doing less divine helm. Oh, I've resorted to um to re to re upping or reloading my save to save scumming it, and I don't even mind one bit. Especially if it's usually just like a cosmetic. Who actually who cares? Single player game. Who gives a fuck how you do whatever. All right, so this cannot be the answer, but um, we're now at the top. Maybe this is the answer. No, it's not, because it won't let me in. But this, no, hello. Oh look, there's the real way we were supposed to get in. Didn't see that, don't care. I'm here now. <laughs> you gave me this as an option. I took it. Oh my God, thank you. Uh huh, yeah. Hey, I've already been there, I saw that, I don't care. I've already seen that, I don't care. Wow. I already saw it, don't care. Yeah, see, I've, I've already been up here. Boring! Hey, what is this? Yeah, what's up, man? Oh, now I can get to the, um, the depths. Like I thought, so I can get to the depths from the lower labyrinth. I'm kind of let's let's just take a peek to see what that is. Take a little peeky to see what that is. Oh, you know what'd be cool? Do you think we can dive straight into it? Just be a boss and make it right there. This game rolls! Should wear some light armor. Dude, wear my BDSM costume. Wait, do I have a better one? No, this one's Zabra. I have my, I have, hey, they gave me rubber. I have no clue. Oh, look at that. We are, we are literally falling right on that. Oh my God, they have a labyrinth in the, I hate this. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. There's a depths labyrinth? Uh, 
Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where even am I? I'm nowhere. Oh, jeez. Hey, what if we, um... What if we got back to the story? This is the face of someone who just ripped the biggest fart and did not let you hear it. I, I saved you from hearing it. You're welcome. <laughs> Felt good. This game has story. I think Max said the story is really weak on this. Listen. I'm a gassy fella. Especially because I've been eating a lot more broccoli and spinach lately. You know what those those two things do? They gas me up. Much like much like my friends, they gas me up. Okay. How the heck do I get back up? I'm just gonna Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Swim better. Swim better. Swim better. Okay. Nope. Got the crab. All right. Uh, nope. Yep. Away I go. Oh, that's right. Kids look like... Zora kids look weird. I guess I can get the rest of these flute little seeds. Oh, bright eye crab. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, gimme. <laughs> mute ass. Or mute ass. Mute ass. Uh, rip ass. Unmute. Yeah, I know. Listen, sometimes you just want to... Do a big old fart. Um, I think the story is better than Breath of the Wild. But, like... It's just, I don't, I don't know the next time I'm ever going to want to play an open world Zelda ever again, which is unfortunate because like, this is obviously a winning formula for them. This game has sold crazy good. Breath of the Wild still continues to sell crazy good. Well, about that. About, hey, about that. Oh, okay, I guess I have to go up to the woman. Um, I already... I Hey, well, here's the thing. I was just exploring the Sky Islands, and I, I found six of them on one of the islands. I was like, oh, look, that's the fish I need. I was just like, Sky Islands. Oh, there's this fun little puzzle. Oh, there's the fish I need. Perfect. Um... But like, I really crave a much more linear, a much more concise Zora experience at this point. What's up, girl? Yeah, here you go. I got, I have that. Whoa! Whoa! This is the formula moving forward. <sighs> hey, they can take six years in between games then. They can absolutely take six years in between games because I think that's plenty of time for me to say, I can go and do this game again. Yes, yes. Did you just say yes, yes? Like fucking Tom Nook. Yeah, you're going to show me that again. <laughs> Whoa. 
Dude, I look like an asshole right now. It's hard to say no to 10 out of 10. I know. It's hard to say no yes. to your second Zelda in a row that's gotten both perfect scores from Famitsu and IGN. Um, you really hope they don't reuse the map again? I know. I think... I think... What am I supposed to do here? Speak with Giotto at Toto Lake. Okay, where's Toto Lake? Lulu Lake, Lulu Lu. I mean, even with them doing a second time, I think it took them adding all the stuff that they did in both the depths and the sky islands in order to kind of convince people that this was allowed. Um, I really do not think, Oh, knuckles and knuckles. Um, I really don't think, Oh, these are all the tingle siblings. I just got that. Yeah. <laughs> these are all the tingle siblings. That's funny. Or maybe not. So they're not siblings. They're like, Whatever. There's Toto Lake. Okay. So if I go up here, actually it'd be better if I just swam up the waterfall to get to Toto Lake. That's the waterfall I need to get to. Okay. I look like less of an asshole now. Guess what I mean? Good. This guy's coming at you. What are you doing? Um, like, it's just, it's, it's just, it's a lot of game. It's a lot of game with like, the game to story proportions are off is the best way that I'll put it. I, and like, I hope they, they do the same thing that they did where they're like, you know what we realized? People really would like a, a nice, short, small, concise Zelda. So we'll give them a nice, short, small, concise Zelda. Get there, get there. Um, we'll give them a nice, short, concise, small Zelda in the form of a Link's Awakening remake. Give everybody a break. Oh, I need to put a rock in here, I bet. Hold on. And I hope they do that with the Oracles games. I pray they do that with the Oracles games. Um, I I don't think they will ever do this, but I would love more than anything. If they... How do I put this? They could, they could honestly... Hey, what's up? Oh, Daddy likey. Change that to learn eventually. One wild heart, thanks for the file. I wouldn't mind if they took all the all the work that they did for um What's it called? I think that's pretty close to the center. For Ocarina of Time, that was not close enough. Alright, well uh mark it on the map and say I'll come back to it later, but I probably won't. There you go. Um, all the work that they did for Ocarina of Time and I'm not going to make it um, and Majora's Mask putting that on 3DS like all the work that they did really looks good really looks quite amazing actually could they do that HD version and, and with like actual control scheme that isn't from you know a nearly 30 year old console and um put on the switch <laughs> oh wind waker and twilight princess hd that, you know i'd even like that like wind waker and twilight princess not my favorite zeldas that's for sure but who's following me where are you hey fellas 
I love Keese now. Because Keese give Keese eyeballs, and I love Keese eyeballs. Um, I wouldn't mind, like, I just wouldn't mind having those games, quite honestly, be rescued from the Wii U. Homing arrows are so nice. Especially when you just don't feel like aiming at, um, an Arrokuda or a Yiga clan member. You're like, just hit him. Just hit him. GDQ starts, wow. I feel like <sighs> January went by so slowly for me and then every month after that has been at a breakneck pace. I can't believe GDQ already starts. It feels like we just had um, a GDQ, like just had it. Ah, God, that hurt. I don't know if y'all heard that. My hip just popped. Felt good though. Shadow keeps interacting with dangerous things. When injecting this, this research. Blah, blah, blah. Ruins. Oh, don't tell me you have to go in there to find him. Oh, no, he's just right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm in uh, Dallas. I'm in Dallas. Oh. oh yeah. Stand upon the land of the sky the skyfish? The skyfish? We're we're bringing up the skyfish? Why do you ask? Where is SGDQ? The broken slate. San Antonio, San Antonio is pretty cool. You can ask uh, Light about it. Light's lived in San Antonio. Um, I think, like, Dallas kind of sucks as a place to live if I'm going to be entirely honest with you. But, like... I really can't fight how good it is to find work here compared to There we go. <laughs> compared to um other places for me. It's great if you're in a city like I mean for Dallas and Austin and San Antonio and Houston, if you can somehow afford to live downtown. Yeah. And like you don't you don't plan on going very far from downtown, or you're okay with driving at least forty minutes to get anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mark of the King. I shouldn't hear with the Mark of the King. I don't like these efforts. You used to live at 75 in Lemon? I am so sorry. <laughs> Actually, that's not too bad. Um, But like living near 75, I'm just like, ugh, 75. Ugh. Um, I live in Arlington, which I fucking hate. Um... <laughs> Oh, you saw every clue. Justice is speaking with. Oh, the king is alive. Yeah, where is where is the king? Because I didn't see him in the throne room when I last saw him. Um, yeah, I kind of hate living in Arlington a lot. 
Um, but rent is very cheap. Graduated at Arlington High School? No shit. Uh, I teach at Young Junior High. I used to teach at Lamar. Small world. So then you understand how I'm like, yeah, Arlington kind of sucks. Dropped out of UTA, let's go! Like, it frustrates me so much that Arlington has the distinction as the biggest city in the United States without public transit. It drives me fucking insane that Arlington does not, uh, has not bought into DART or, um, Trinity Metro. Up, 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 that's slippy slidey. Up, I'm going down. Arlington sucks, kind of does. Kind of does a little bit. Um, I kind of miss living in Irving. Couldn't afford to live in Irving anymore. Um, but I do kind of miss living in Irving. I'm going through the hole. Woo, made it. Skip. Oh, I can, yeah, I can do a little exchange here. I can do a little exchange. Uh, never mind on that. Wait, 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 but I don't, wait, 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 wait. I don't, hey, can I get heart though? There we go. Let's get one more heart container and the next time I'm going to get the stamina vessel. Um, but like Arlington is the epitome of let's make everything far away and put parking everywhere. <laughs> let's just make everything so inconveniently far away from each other and just have the city be like cut up by um, interstates. Arlington itself is cut up by, and again, it's a mid city. It's not actually in, um, it's not in or near any of the downtown areas. It's its own mid city, which means it's between, it's pretty close to middle in between Fort Worth and Dallas. It is cut up by Texas 360 I think it's, it's, it's not quite cut up, but because I think it's Grand Prairie technically at that point, but George Bush is right there. So 161 and I 20 and I 30. I'm, I feel like I'm missing one more that just like rams itself right into Arlington. You're like, fuck me. Uh, 303 technically is something though, not much. Do I have to, like, sneak on them? You were going to say Pioneer Park Green, which is 303, yeah. Um, I used to live pretty close to, like, where Pioneer or 303 and 360 meet. I kind of didn't mind that. Sam, I love public transport to no end. My friends know my, like, two loves outside of Bassoon. They will send me news of it, like, hey, I was able to use Apple Pay all weekend at the city. I was like, oh! And the other one's like, I'm riding a train. I was like, no! But, like, let's hear it for the humble bus. Like, bus is actually kind of rule. <laughs> I've really turned around on the bus. Like, you think buses kind of suck because they feel slow and um, not really sexy by comparison to other other forms of transit um but like the reason why buses are generally slow is because they have to share the road with fucking cars all the goddamn time um and like buses can move so many fucking people 
So I'm really on on the side of buses. Buses are actually an amazing form of public transit. Um, I, I mean, I'm not trying to whatever. Um, You get chauffeured around a multiple. Oh, one of my favorites is I think there was a a Dutch ad that's like, "Do you want to drive a multi-million dollar Mercedes, or do you want to drive like a uh, like a three hundred or four hundred thousand dollar Mercedes? You can become a bus driver." <laughs> Buses are the reason. Yeah, like, that's the other thing. Why do we hate on buses when, like, a ton of, of Americans used that form of public transit that was designed around their schedule? Like, it was... Public school buses are the epitome of, like, this is what transit could be. They're designed around your schedule. They get you close to where you're home. They create routes that are close to your home. And, like... They are the creators of traffic laws. In other words, other vehicles have to be subject to what they do. All right, so how many are close to these kids? <laughs> hmm. I'm going to talk to uh, Leto again. Somewhere to hide. Could I hide? Oh, that's just, um, that's just a racist dog whistle. Wandering student, wandering robot. Like anyone who says it'll bring the homeless, what they really mean is it'll bring black people. Like, that's what it always means. Like it, it infuriates me to no end. I was like, "Well, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about." Well, for one thing, hey, guess what? The homeless are in Arlington. Arlington has some pretty lax panhandling laws, so. <laughs> That's thing one, my dude. Thing two, like. So Arlington doesn't have public transit. What they have is they have a ride share in cooperation with the private company Via. Via provides the ride share service and then Arlington basically gets to benefit by it by having subsidized rides. So your ride, I think, it used to be like $2 a ride. I think it's up to like $3.50 or $4 a ride right now. And this is like a stark increase. Um, this, okay, hey. Monday Spencer's coming out on Thursday. Um, so the way it works is that it's like, if I can remember correctly, I think it's around 350 per ride. We'll say 350, maybe 325. And I think you can buy like day passes. Don't remember how much they are. By comparison to say Dallas. So for Dallas Start, you can ride the entire network from say the morning or the afternoon, which is I think from like 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. is considered the morning portion. And then from like 2 p.m. until close or something like that is considered the afternoon portion. You can ride either of those as much as you want during those periods um, separately for $3. Now, there's 9 a.m. to like 2 p.m., which is what's called the midday, when it's not peak service. So they assume that they're not getting as much ridership, so they incentivize people. 
um, to do it. So it's $2 for that. And then you also have a daily cap of $6. So no matter how much you spend, if you use contactless or go past tap or the go past app, um, they will, they will cap you at $6 for the day, as many rides as you want. Whereas for via, you get charged no matter how pretty much long or short your distance is a flat rate of like three twenty five, or sometimes it like changes based on what you do. Now, the other things about like public transit dart versus via dart, you can more or less predict your schedule for dart because they have a schedule. <laughs> they have a schedule. Um, Dart's also doing this kind of fucky thing where they do this like, I forget what it's called, Dart, Dart Flex, I think it is, or these flex zones where basically you ride a bus or a train to this area and then like a shuttle will take you wherever you want to go, generally within like the zone. And like, I guess for some places that might work instead of having a fixed route, but at the same time, it's kind of fucky. Now they did partner with Uber, uh, as a way of kind of supplementing. So like, Hey, if the shuttle's not there, if we don't have it available that day, we could basically pass off your trip to Uber and you pay the same amount. That's like good on dart. The problem is they don't advertise enough, but that's aside from the point for the most part of the, of the dart service area, you have a schedule that you can follow and say, I can plan my day around this or via or should say Arlington via or via Arlington, you can't <laughs> because they don't have a schedule. It's a ride share service and you can't schedule a ride in advance. You can't tell them I want to go from here to here. and I want to be here at this time. You can't tell them that in advance. You're not allowed. Um, and it is a, multi-person ride share. So it's going to pick up and drop off people along the way. They're like, that's just like public transit, except for public transit. You can predictably know where that's going to happen. Cause they share that with you. Whereas for this, it changes based off of who's using at whatever time. So you, you have to kind of say like, okay, I kind of want to get here. Let's say I want to get somewhere by 10 AM. And I know that, in general, driving from my place to that place takes me 10 minutes. And again, it has to only be about 10 minutes because this only works within Arlington. And then like the, uh, the Trinity Railway Express Station Centerport. So that's its own special thing. I use a lot for getting to Centerport and back if I don't want to drive. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. It's still fucky. So you say, okay, it's about 10 minute drive from here to there. You would think that then you would schedule, okay, let's say 20 minutes, like enough time for them to get there and then get me there with buffer time in between. Wrong. If it takes 10 minutes to get there, you need to plan at least 30 minutes of time for that because very often they will have rides that they have to pick up and drop off in between you getting booked. Sometimes drivers will switch. So they will say, oh, I'm not actually taking any more now. So then it has to recalculate and get another driver within the service. And then... You don't know how many people are going to get picked up between you and that. And it will change its timing for you as you are on route. Like it says, oh, somebody wants a ride and it's on the way. So uh, we said it would take 14 minutes to get there. It's now going to take about 19. So you cannot reasonably like plan that travel unless you have a ton of time to do it. So it works for like leisure. It works for travel it really eats up a lot of time. It insultingly eats up a lot of time if you are using it to commute. Like I said, it can triple the time or more that you would need for commuting if you don't use your own vehicle, if you use that. And it's still, like I said, pretty expensive. If it's like three fifty dollars per ride, that means that you're unless they have like monthly or day passes, which they might, but I cannot remember you're paying $7 a day just to get there and back. Whereas, like I said, you can pay as little as six and you also for Dallas start you have the ability to use any service you want within the dart network as much as you want for that day. So not only can you like go from home to work you can say, Oh, let me go over here for lunch 
for my lunch hour real quick. Pop over here for my lunch hour and get back. And then take that to get back uh, home. And that's still all $6 a day. And it gets even cheaper. They do have monthly passes and annual passes, which are much cheaper, depending on how you use them. And on top of that, Dart, if you use one of their like electronic services, so if you use GoPass or GoPass Tap or um, you register your credit card with them, they can actually track and actually stop charging you once you reach the monthly cap automatically. They say, hey, you paid the same amount this month as you would for a monthly pass, and we're just going to stop charging you money for that because you hit the cap, my man. Via won't do that. Via will be like, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And Via, another fun thing because of tip culture, Via will ask you to tip the driver. And I was like, but this is supposed to be like an easy and simple rideshare service. What do you mean tip the driver? Like what this, so this ride share is really just a ride share and nothing public transit related. So there's those problems in terms of schedule via only, does not operate on Sunday because people don't want to go out on Sunday, right? Fuck that. People don't want to go out on, don't want to go out on Sunday at all. And it's not like Arlington has, you know, a football stadium and it's not like football is played on Sunday. Um, <laughs> it's not like Arlington has AT&T stadium that hosts the Dallas Cowboys right there. Just right there. Just right fucking there. That's another insult. We have, we have multiple sports stadiums here and we don't have public transit to get to any of them. Drive, idiot. It's Texas. Um, boy, I'm, I'm, hey, this rant's not stopping. I want to keep going. So anyway, schedule. Um, doesn't operate on Sunday. Only operates from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. on weekdays and from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday. So if you want to get an early start on your Saturday or if you want to stay late, at all on any other day of the week fuck you <laughs> fuck you so hard so there's that now the other things that are really fucky about this is that i can't find how much money via paid the city of arlington i can't find if um like I can't find any contributions that via has made to like counselors. I can't find, um, if via like, I can't, I cannot complain to the city about via and I cannot complain to via about via in a reasonable way. So the nice thing about public transit is that you can make those people accountable to the people because they serve the people. Whereas via being a private business, I can't go to Arlington and say via sucks. You need to make it better. Yeah, Sam. Um, like I, there's, there's not a paper trail to find about like the contract, um, that via has with Arlington in terms of like the dollar amounts, then possibly kickbacks that, um, city councilmen are getting. I have nothing that says whether or not city councilmen are getting kickbacks from this. Like, you might say, well, if there's nothing that says that they do, maybe they're not. But you need something that says they're not. <laughs> That's what you need. You need something that explicitly says they are not doing that to show that they are not doing that. Um, hey, now that I've lost my viewers, let's get back to Zelda. But like, I hate living in Arlington as a completely non-walkable city. Hey, no, we're actually not going to get back to Zelda because I'm going to keep talking about um, walkable cities. Here's another fun thing. The far right thinks that this idea of a 15-minute city is some sort of like Marxist or communist ploy that the left is trying to uh, push upon Americans. And I'm like... Maybe people just don't want to fucking take their car everywhere. Maybe it just sucks that you have to put in hundreds of dollars a month, if not thousands, to own something that you know is contributing to the hasty demise of our species. 
and maybe you like just really yeah you derailed it much like um american infrastructure derails trains on a weekly basis hey yo um <laughs> i think i think i'm done with this rant but like it's just it's so frustrating it's so frustrating and dallas like i i i crave dallas level public transit in Arlington and Dallas level public transit sucks. It really sucks. I think peak 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 um operating wait times are still like 15 minutes between each one. Really like what's considered to be like a good minimum for having a very healthy public transit where people will not need to rely on cars is about 5 minutes of wait time between services and i think peak is 15 minutes for the most part within dallas a lot of times it goes up to 30 minutes or an hour for wait time for a service ah um yeah walkable cities are great for everything sam but like in terms of the u.s I think Denver was okay when I lived there. I half the time that I lived in Denver, I did not even own a car. And even when I did own a car, I tried very hard to not use it. And like Denver is a pretty good city for allowing somebody who is physically active to not need a car. Kai, shut the fuck up. We're not talking about Zelda. We're talking about Unless you're also talking about public transit. I finessed public transit so fucking hard without spoiling it. <laughs> That's cool, though. <laughs> Dude, I finessed public transit like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> but, like, in terms of cities that I've been to, New York is really good. Um, and people are, like, afraid to take the subway. Don't be. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jamie. Hell yeah. But like Washington, D.C. has been by and large probably my favorite public transit experience that I've ever had. I love. Yeah, Subway's fine in New York. I love the Washington Metro. I love how frequent the buses are everywhere i love the interoperability between the different systems and you can use one public transit card to do it and i had that public transit card on my fucking phone and you know what i don't have to do i don't have to authenticate it i just smack that bad boy right on the um the reader and it says oh hey spencer welcome the fuck in i'm like oh thank you so much and then i just go that's so great. I put on my goddamn watch. I can do like smack my wrist, break it. But I'm like, at least I could drive the train. It's so reliable that on off peak hours, it's still like every 10 minutes you will, you will have a service available to you. And on peak hours, it's like every four. And I'm talking about the branch lines for the trains, not even the central area where more trains actually interact with each other. The branch lines you have no idea how easy it is for me to like fly into Reagan National Airport. And now I can fly into Dallas because they expanded the Silver Line all the way to Dallas. So I could fly into Dallas or Reagan, which everyone's going to be cheaper for me at that time. And then from there, I can get through the entire Washington metro area. And, and, and I can take fucking Amtrak across the East Coast. And it's wonderful. And that's all to say that even, even DC is pretty fucking low ranked <laughs> in terms of like international uh, comparisons. That's all to say all that beauty that I can have in DC and it's still kind of shitty. <laughs> oh, Tokyo is absolutely a peak experience. Also, hi, Jamie. How are you? All right. Hey, can we get back to the game? Oh, that was just so cathartic to be able to just rant. Oh, Jamie, look what I bought. I don't think I'm going to fucking play him. 
but look what I bought. <laughs> There were $10 for all three. And I was like, that's a steal. I had $10 on my eShop account. I love Bioshock Infinite too much to not own it at this point. And I get the other two for free. It's economical. I mean, if we're just going to go into this, that's why I own this. Because I'm like, this game's giving me plenty of entertainment without never playing it. So, you know, fuck this game. All right. Whew. That was a pretty good rant about uh, Pablo Trenza. I'm pretty sure I beat for beat. I've said those exact words about Arlington um, and via Arlington, like not even, not even skipping a beat. <laughs> yeah. Back to spy on kids. Um, that's also partially why I'm excited to go back to Worcester, Ohio. It doesn't really have public transit. It has like one line that goes basically from the Walmart up north to downtown. But I can walk everywhere downtown. Like the college is just is just north of downtown. It's not far north of downtown. And I can walk everywhere. That's the other thing is people always wonder was like, oh man, I miss college. I miss that experience of just kind of like being able to hang out outside and being able to walk everywhere. It's because cars are largely unavailable on many college campuses and everything is fucking walkable. Yeah, the College of Worcester. That's actually technically who my employer is going to be. My employer is actually going to be the College of Worcester. Can, can you crouch? Uh oh. It's, I think it's a private college. Go fighting Scots. Um, but they're the ones that host the Ohio Light Opera. So technically, I am... I am an employee of the College of Worcester for that. No, you do not walk in Dayton, Ohio. Um, I've been to... Not Cincinnati, Cleveland. I think Cleveland's a pretty nice city. I think it is okay public transit. Um, I think Cleveland's really pretty in the summer. F fucking sucks in the winter. Don't go in the winter. If you go in the winter, do not go anywhere near the lake. You will die. You don't even have to like go in the water. The wind will kill you. <laughs> Cleveland does seem fine when they don't uh light the river on fire this is true but i think like cleveland has like a rust belt charm to it an industrial charm to it um <laughs> go to the lake swim in the lake walk into the lake in december Okay. Clean waterfall. Got it. Oh, that was fun spying on kids. It does. It really does have a very pretty countryside. Um... You know, it just kind of sucks how all the prettiest places also have some of the... <sighs> worst... Worst... Politics. Which reminds me, can't wait to visit my friend Jamie uh, in Kentucky. Jamie, I think... I think unhealthily often about the... <laughs> The picture you shared of like Jesus hugging protect is basically like Jesus taking the wheel of a police officer. I, I do not remember. It was like Jesus basically like beside a police officer in a, in a squad car <laughs> in a government building, <laughs> like a government office. Biggest drug issues? I mean, Indiana also has a really bad drug problem thanks to um, Mike Pence because he thought he could just pray. He could pray the pain away. He could pray the drugs away. 
fucking idiot. Somewhere between the domain and Ploymus. Ploymus? Clean water. I mean, there's this one right here, but that's not between the domain, is it? All right, well, let's just zoop our way up. It could be over here as well. Or in Shatterback. What about the massive arc? Oh, do you mean ARK? Like, like boat? I thought you were talking about like the, the St. Louis arch. I was like, oh, that's in St. Louis. I forgot about the arc. I don't think... I'm angry. <laughs> I just... I just want nice things. Nice things that are easy and basic and make it easier for democracy to flourish. And give people a better quality of life. And like... People just want... There are so many people who just want power and control. And I'm like, that's so fucking boring and basic. Like, I get why you want it, because you're a psychopath. Or you're just a control freak. Or you just really get off on making other people's lives miserable, because that's what shows that you have control of this world, even though you're going to die just like everyone else, you fucking idiot. But... But it's so fucking basic. Like, I get it. You fear uh, your demise just like everybody else, and you fear that you won't make a mark in the world, so you decide to take out your frustrations in the world on other people by deciding to be just kind of a big raging asshole, but at least you get to control other people to show that you have the ability to actually control the destiny of yourself because you're able to control the destiny of others, but in turn, you will just die a lonely, miserable person just like everybody else. And let's, be, let's face it, most likely a man. You'll probably die as a man because it's mostly fucking lonely, miserable women that do this. <gasps> But, like, stop <laughs> is, is the proposal that I have. Dude, even rich people in the turn of the, like, 20th century, as, as evil and craven as they were, were still like, you know how I'm going to prove how I'm a way cooler, um, way better millionaire or billionaire than you? I'm going to build a library. Fuck you. That's how cool I am. I'm going to build a motherfucking library. At least you get to benefit other people. Oh, okay. Just kind of popped up there for a second. Okay, I touch it and I just, and I just go up. Yeah, it's like... Do you want to know why New York and Cleveland and Cincinnati, and Boston, all these like rich East Coast cities have really good um, orchestras. It's not because the, the collective citizenry said, we're gonna we'll pull our money together because we deserve good arts. No, it was rich guys that were like, I went to my plaything orchestra. <laughs> I will make the best orchestra here. It will be for me. And you might be thinking like, that's stupid, but it's pretty good orchestras and they're nice entertainment. And they, they, in the very least, don't harm the world. I would argue that they provide a net benefit to the world. Uh, just saying. 
I, th I think they do provide a, at least a cultural value. What does it feel like we've reverted back to? Royal bloodlines? But that can't be right because in America, who you are sh uh, matters more than what you are, right? Can I get a hell, hell yeah? Is that an Aracudo holding a Lizalfos? <laughs> hey man, check this out. Nepotism. It's just all frustrating. It's all, it all really, it's very easy to think what's the point when you start thinking about it. But like, that's the wrong way to think. If I'm going to be honest. Hey man. Oops, hold on. I'll get right to you. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm out of hours. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Dude, you gotta try and hit me, you dummy. You gotta try and hit me. Yeah, I just want to put that in my inventory. I have no idea about that. I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if he did that. But, like, I'm just... Why do people in power just got to be assholes all the time? Is that just like an inherent thing? Like if you get power or the people who seek power are the ones that are just kind of shitty. All right, we're going to try over here. Who knows? Oh, that's a lot of Lizalfos right there. All right, this is clean water. Maybe it all ties back to lead poisoning. I know that's another weird thing to think about that like, there's a very good chance that your parents and or grandparents do have some form of lead poisoning. Or at least have some effects of lead poisoning. Okay. Yeah, and you get microplastics in you. You lucky so-and-so. Who wants some PFAS? Yeah, I don't think the cave's here. I do want to hear a fun fact about lead poisoning. Damn, this is a big waterfall. Man, this is some classic Spencer right here. Let's get depressed about the world. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Well, how have I done that? I don't want to be dead by 50. I don't think I'm going to make it very far, but I don't want to be dead by 50. I'd like to, like, get into my 70s. I think that'd be pretty good. People affected by lead poisoning when become near the older they are. Shocker. I mean, that's a nice clean way of thinking about it, but I think that's... It's, it's too early to attribute that to everything behaviorally to that. Like, you have to remember that there's also cultural differences between younger and older generations. And there's, um kind of different learned behaviors as well like what's considered acceptable and nobody likes to be like shamed and it's really easy to clap back on younger generations for the older generations it's really easy for them to be like you're just too sensitive because they've been given a permission structure in our society to just dismiss younger generations and to basically write them off they've been given a, a really like a blank check so i think it's a combination of like Possibly, like possibly there could be some neurochemical reasons for it, but there could also, there's, I think there's a lot of social conditioning that goes into why people are the, the way they are. That can't be dismissed, unfortunately. 
So up there maybe? Is this one doo-doo brown or is this one nice clean blue? It looks pretty clean blue. I'm gonna touch it and fly up. Touch! Whatever happened to kids being the future? I mean... My generation's the first one. Uh, pretty much in American history in a long time where it's like, Oh yeah, you actually have a lower life expectancy. Oh, interesting. You have a lower life expectancy than your parents. Um, like, on the on average, you have a lower life expectancy than parents. And um, to top it off, um, you also are going to have a worse quality of life. <laughs> so, you know... Enjoy that. Okay, well, I'm back up here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it really helps when you think about the arc of time and you say things that, like, were considered socially acceptable, but are not considered socially acceptable when you were growing up. And that's a good way of kind of forming it. My grandmother has a very like healthy uh, way of thinking about it. She's like, she's like, I don't understand why people are mad <laughs> at like, she was like, I don't understand why people are mad at like gay people and trans people and black people. Because when I was growing up, like white people were just not even allowed to mix with those people. And, and she said, and people think that's like going backwards, but like the arc of progress was before that we would kill gay people and, <laughs> and black people were slaves. So it's really, she's like, it's really weird to me that there's anybody who thinks that what we have is worse than what we ha or than what we had. And I'm like, based, based, based me <laughs> And I'm like, why can't everybody think like you, Mimo? Where it's like, the arc of progress actually, or the arc of time does need to bend towards progress. And like progress looks like more people having the same abilities and access as other people. She's like, no, white people are mad because they're like, I can't get mine anymore. I can get mine if I exploit uh, these other people or if I use these as a boogeyman. She's like, and it's stupid. Like, I went through it. I was even part of it at some point. But, like, I get it now. <laughs> Based me, <Mima. laughs> Dude, based Ruth. She's like, I get it now. Like, they, she's like, Republicans just keep wanting to find a boogeyman. That's all they ever want. All they want is someone for all of us to get mad at. I'm fucking tired. She's like, I am. She's like, excuse my language, Mr. but I am goddamn tired of it. It's like, I love you so much, Mima. I love you so much. <laughs> dude, dude, the common meme all W? <laughs> she's like, it's she's like, it's disgusting. And I'm like, oh my god. You're so cool. How could you be this cool? She is dope. The funny thing is the thing that got her to be way more progressive is that <laughs> I think what it really was is that her friends were like falling down the the conservative media, media rabbit hole and they were starting to insult basically my generation and Mima was like but my grandson isn't like that. Like my grandson isn't stupid. My grandson isn't lazy. My grandson isn't um, inconsiderate my grandson isn't selfish and like my grandson tells me honestly like the struggles that he's going through and I get it like it's hard for him to do the things that I was able to do and it's hard for him to do the things that his dad was able to do I understand the differences that we have Be and, like to her it boggles her mind that like I went out of school with about 56 57 thousand dollars of debt that alone she's like 
holy shit. But then when she says, well, how much do you owe now? And the number is higher, not lower than it was now because of interest. She's like, holy shit. <laughs> she doesn't say that. Mima doesn't curse. Like, she's like, that's not right. And I'm like, no, it isn't, Mima. Sure isn't. Your Mima was very similar. As, I mean... It's just really nice to have somebody who I see, I mean, as a relatively conservative person, be like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Christian progressive now. And I'm like, Fuck. she's like, she's like, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what Jesus was about. I'm going to tell you how Republicans are using the, like, honestly, the other thing that probably gets her so mad and probably get woke her up is she's like, I am so tired of people putting Jesus's name in their mouth and acting like assholes. <laughs> She's like, that's not what he was about. <laughs> it's like the one, the one person that <laughs> you cannot use for exclusionary tactics and you're using them for exclusionary tactics. And I think she's, I think she's like, I don't really understand trans people. That doesn't mean that I have to like bar them from existing. And I was like, oh my God, how are you like this? Can I be like this when I'm your age? Can I remember to be like this when I'm your age? <laughs> yeah, she's, she's the one person that makes me like happy to still be a Christian. Now, granted, I don't, um, I don't prescribe to any one religious sect of Christianity. And I think my viewpoints on God and Jesus are very different from the religious uh, majority. But, but I will say that it's like, she's like, if, if all Methodists are like this and then all Presbyterians, because I know Presbyterians are also pretty darn progressive as far as uh, Christians are concerned. And I'm like, oh, pretty good. Hey, those are some, two pretty good churches, Methodist and uh, Presbyterian. I was raised Methodist, and I think the Methodists have gotten much more progressive in, in the past two decades. Like, we see what other, <laughs> other sects of Christianity are doing. We're like, maybe this doesn't work. Maybe this is bad. All right, so maybe it's like, I know that we're back here where we were, but like, I think it's here, dude. Up, oh, up, oh, I'm falling. Oh, I'm fa no, I'm not. Fuck you. I think the one thing that really makes me laugh is, um, even though Mima is much more progressive, she is still a Christian through and through in that she still, um, she still likes to proselytize. I get a Bible every uh, Christmas from her. She just, she thinks that there just isn't, that she hasn't found the right Bible for me. I think at this point I need an extreme teen Bible, quite honestly. Because, God, that book is so boring. Oh, I need to get my trash to the curb, too. Kick it to the curb! Like, I've, I have tried to read the Bible. I'm gonna be honest with you. And, like, it's hard to read the Bible when you know that men from, like... <laughs> 5,000 years ago, if that, wrote it, and the number of, like, again, probably men, um, who, 
who have warped the words to benefit their needs over the, the centuries. And you're like, oh, <laughs> you're like, oh, I don't want to read this anymore because it just makes me sad. I think I have three Bibles at this point. I have the latest Bible that Mimel's given me, another Bible that Mimel's given me, and I still have my um my christening Bible. I'm sure somewhere I have my mom's Bible as well. My mom's Bibble. Alright, I feel like I'm too stupid for this. So somewhere between Ploymus Mountain and the Domain. So it should be here, right? Like, am I overthinking this? Not only does it change, but like, it says so many words, so many goddamn words that you could fit into a sentence. The Bible is the book version of this could have been an email. All right, so we're back where you are. So then we go down. Hither. Oh, nice. Okay. Cave, waterfall, let's go. All right, I don't think it's here. I do not think it's here, okay. Man, I'm like, I'm, I'm speaking a lot today. This is, this is really feeling like a, some Monday. Oh, okay, I swam it. Some real Monday Spencer energy. You thought that was Guy Fieri? Guy Fieri? Nope, it's just, uh, your friendly neighborhood. I think that's Sean. Yeah, it looks like Sean. I'm gonna say it's Sean. If I'm still going? Oh, wow, it's already 835. We haven't done shit. Oh, it is Sean. Nice. I got it. I didn't say it was Grayson like an idiot. Yay. Where's Pina? Where's Pina? Pina? Up, oh, touch the waterfall. Sorry, dude. I I feel so stupid right now. Like I think it's supposed to be a hint because they're like, oh yeah, you monsters, black sludge, all that jazz. Nice. So it should be back up there, right? Like, way back up there, like, the other side, but that's not between the domain and... This is between the domain and Plymouth Mountain. They're like, there's the domain! So is it maybe here? Hold on! Hold on now! No. No, it is not. Oh, me too, Sam. I'm just like, man, people like to give me free subs in that chat a lot. Me, like that one in uh, Max's chat. Like, yeah, I mean, I'll take it if you're going to give it. Thank you. You felt like a dummy when you found it. I can't wait. 
All right, Sam, let me ask you this. <laughs> so it says in between the mountain and the domain. So is it in the very least on this side of the do Like, is it on this side? Uh, yeah. Hey, man, if I can use my clout for one thing, I guess I'll use it for getting a free sub every now and then. Water is blue. Okay, that much I got. And I am in blue water, but I'm saying, is it on this, like, is it on this side right here? Because there's this asshole right here. Right there. And that's not in between Plymouth Mountain and the Domain. This is between Plymouth Mountain and the Domain. But I am in some blue ass water right now. All right. I'm just feeling a little, a little tired and annoyed at this game that I spent this much time and I've made no progress. All right, well, we have black sludge around here, so that's a good sign. A little big old waterfall. This game blows. This game fucking blows. It says it's behind a waterfall. And I guess technically this is behind that water. Fuck this game though, right? <laughs> like technically, 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 but like, Fuck this game, though. Oh, it's like behind. A no, it's it's. Is it? Oh, this is the. Oh, this. Oh, is it? What's the front entrance? <laughs> Let me check out the front entrance. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, eh, whatever. I found it. Oh. This is the last thing you see before you die. Hey, Elise, how's it going? <sighs> I spent... Okay, I was going to say I spent like an hour and a half looking for this. Like, if we're going to be honest, about 20 minutes of that hour and a half was me raving, or was me ranting about public transit. And another 10 was me ranting about conservative Christians. If we're going to be honest. If we are going to be honest. But it's still an hour of me, like... Only twenty, uh, you know. Oh, uh, hey, Muzu. Oh my God, that sucked. You're not looking too hot, my man. Dorphin, dude, the daddy or dad. Lise, how are you? I'm both excited to be in Ohio and like still like ugh, I really need to take a summer off at some point. Eating a blizzard? What flavor? At least can you agree that the cotton candy blizzard is worse than it used to be? I'm assuming you have access to the cotton candy blizzard. S'mores, absolutely the best one. Absolutely the best one. The like the chocolate because they replaced they used to have like a very, like a mix-in that was almost kind of creamy. And like, it was really nice because when you like hit pockets, it was like, mmm, tasty. But now the, the mix-in is basically, what's it called? Pop Rocks. The mix-in is basically Pop Rocks. And so like, instead of getting something that's kind of soft when you bite into it, you just get hard candy pieces and they suck. 
So, yeah, I think you should just get s'mores is the answer. Like, anytime you're going to get a blizzard in the summer, you should get s'mores. Because they're generous with the chocolate pieces. The flavor is just right. Like, the mix of, like, marshmallow and chocolate and graham cracker is just right. And it just satisfies me. You know what I'm going to do tomorrow? I might give me a s'mores blizzard tomorrow. Thank you, Elise. Influencer. I might give me a s'mores blizzard tomorrow. <laughs> I like that. Dude, Spencer's three rants <laughs> in descending order of importance. Public transit. The current state of the the Christian conservative uh, population in the United States. Uh oh, oh. Little. Well, thank you so much. That scared me a little bit. I shit in my pants. Um. They fucked up the cotton candy blizzard. <laughs> that scared you too? Everybody's scared. Yay. Uh, he means trusted friend of the Zora. There must be. A I have not been reading this. Fuck. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're supposed to be looking for Princess Zelda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just glad this guy's still alive. Oh, she released a beast? Hmm. Man, I have made no progress on this fucking game. Hmm. Hey, if it makes you feel better, my, my chores that I'm doing, my errands that I'm running to um, get me ready for Ohio are coming to an end. So hopefully I get to stream longer tomorrow and um, Saturday before I leave. Hopefully. Tomorrow I am going to spend an hour with some friends playing bassoon. And then Saturday, I think I want to go to game night. Uh, my friend Gina's game night. Like stop by very briefly for maybe like an hour and a half or two hours. And just be like, hey, I'm not going to see you all for like two and a half months so i just wanted to like be here before I, I don't see you for two and a half months um bye uh, excuse me scale Okay, so I got a king scale. And I have to fuse it with an arrow. Okay, so dad's dying. That sucks. He has, he has water ligma. Uh, okay. So then we have to go back to Sidon. Elise, did you see the statue of me riding Sidon? It's hot. It's hot. I should say Link. Okay, let me go do that real quick. Also, maybe I sent me, maybe I sent me uh, a video on Instagram about an artist removing Rauru's like chest cloak thing, and just be like, <laughs> it was very funny. Oh, good, you did. Why oh, do I have people giggle? I need to get people giggle in here.
I need to giggle it up. I also really need to use all of my FFZ emote slots. I think I have like 80. I have like an absurd number of emote slots for FFZ that I need to use. <laughs> of it's it's actually of IRL me. All right, Magawak Shran. Oh, I can swim up this now! Yay! Woo! All right, <laughs> there it is. Me just right on that booty. <laughs> Hot, right? My favorite thing is I was like, oh, Mifa statue. And then I like cleaned it up and I was like, that's not Mifa. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> they commissioned a statue of me riding side. All right, let's get back. They put Mifa up here, though. Mifa is like way up there now. All right, where's my boy at? So now I get why he's purifying the water. He's purifying the water to help Daddy. To help Daddy. Hey. Oh. Yes. Yes. Gonna mute myself for no particular reason in here. And I'm back for no particular reason. Don't worry about it. Stand upon the land of the skyfish that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. So land of the sky fridge. You live blah 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 blah. Wait. Hmm. Okay, so I need to find a droplet shaped island in the sky oh look that looks like the sky fish do I have to go to one of them or I should not say the sky fish the wind fish The real question is... Okay, yeah. That's actually a really big island right there. Holy crap. That's huge. What is all that? Because that, I think that is the dungeon. Let me double check. No, I think the central one might be the dungeon. Okay. So, I guess we gotta go up there? I mean, that water looks fine. It doesn't look all goopy. So maybe we go up there? It doesn't look good, but it doesn't look all goopy. Doesn't look all poopy goopy. Hold on a second. Am I gonna... Am I just gonna push myself into this waterfall and swim up it? Please say yes. Please say yes. Hell yeah. Here I come. Scoop. Scoop. 
Okay, a lot of a lot of poop up here. Lots of poop. A lot of poopy. I now need some splash fruit. Hell yeah, I remember the thing. Oh look, a teardrop. Well, never mind. It's just a cool looking diamond thing. Okay. Well, now what do I do? Someone had Taco Bell? Yeah, that's me. That's what happens when I thought. That's what happened right now. I had Taco Bell. I said broccoli. My body's like, I'm gonna make you fart a lot. Okay. So, like, I'm up here. So now what do I do? <laughs> Guess I could just keep cleaning this up for no reason. What if this was the quest? Like, you had to clean up the entire thing. Fucking power wash simulator over here. Oh my god, can you imagine a Nintendo power wash simulator? What franchise are they adding to Power Wash Simulator? Yeah. They're adding some franchise to it. Yeah. It's not SpongeBob, is it? It is SpongeBob? Oh my god. Gotta get that DLC. I already have the, um, the Midgard and the Tomb Raider DLC because well, you have to buy the game on Switch, and so they included that as part of it because they're like, oh, okay, you already bought the game. Sorry about that. There's a little fortress right there. How many more of these do I got? Nine? I don't think it's enough to clean. Yeah, I don't think I have enough to clean up this place. Fuck this box. Fuck this box. Okay, it's giving me arrows. Interesting. So do I just... This is gonna be fun to try and find. Did I do it? <laughs> I just, what am I, what am I doing here? Do I shoot it down there? This is interesting because it shares the same pattern. Huck, huck. 
I feel like I'm too stupid for this game now. What happened? This game wasn't supposed to be- this is- this is like the story part. What- what do you mean? Why am I dumb? What's this? I want to solve this and go to bed. This is, this is the plan. I want to solve this and go to bed. Where am I supposed to go? I gotta go all the way back to fucking Total Lake. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't remember what the fucking thing says. I'm mad. This is like weirdly cryptic and I don't know why. I don't want to deal with these assholes. I hate this game now. This game sucks. At least remember all the things I said to you about this game? That times 10 now. This game sucks, never mind. <laughs> I want Oracle of Ages. <sighs> Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. It's just, this, like... This, like, weird frustration that I'm feeling right now, and I'm like, why? <laughs> Up we go. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh. It was right there. How high is this gonna take me? Pretty high. Not high enough. Anyway. Oh, you're both here now? That's really neat. Did I have to come to you? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I have to find a droplet. Okay. All right, let's go back. <laughs> I have to shoot from there. I have to shoot a droplet shape thing from there. Maybe I have to shoot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, the, there's a term for it. When a game provides like a certain frustration. I forget what it's called. It's not like called grind. It's it's something similar to that term. Where it provides like a hindrance to your progress. And you have to figure out how to overcome that hindrance to your progress. And it, I'm feeling that hindrance right now. Um, and it just feels like this area is so clunky by comparison to other areas. And I think that's what's kind of frustrating me right now. Maybe it's just called frustration, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's just called frustration. Hey, I figured it out. Um, where, like, I don't know why the game is bringing this frustration. It feels it's the water. <laughs> that's what it is for real, for real. It's the dookie water. Alright, so I need a teardrop shaped Thing. I thought it said floating sack island. 
Okay. Hey, all the cleaning I did, all that stuff that I wasted, gone. Worthless. Did it update my adventure log at least? Nope. Teardrop shape. Teardrop shape. It said island, so I'm assuming it has to be a floating island that I'm shooting. I'll just suffer. <gasps> ah! Ah! <laughs> uh -huh! Thank you. This is a cool cutscene. Here, we'll lose me for it. Oh, that was actually it. Never mind, I'm back. <laughs> I thought that was going to be more. Ah. Uh... Hey, Crimson, it took you an hour? I was like, oh, what the fuck am I doing? I was like, I think it has something to do with this. And I said, no, 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 you have to find a tier island from the from the fish-shaped island. And I was like, oh, yeah. I thought that's what I was doing, but I wasn't really looking around. I was thinking I was thinking that I just shoot from a teardrop shape. Sign on. Sign on. Oh, there's Dad. I was like, where's Dad? Lady Yona. She's your wife. Don't call her. Actually, she's not your wife because remember, we're secret boyfriends. That's right. Yes. <laughs> they, they like, it's far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. <laughs> you can't with her face me either. She's got, like, permanent uwu face on. Huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh. If we join our powers, yeah. That's what we call them, our powers. What's this? What new shit is this? Is that a like-like? Is that a shit-covered like-like? Yep. This is a combination of piano and bassoon. Huh. Or it might be like layered piano. I think it's just piano. Uh huh. Oh shit! What is what is with your voice? You're British now? When did that happen? <laughs> he's got a wife and he's British. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, are you gonna... Are you gonna show your little goober now? Yeah? I don't have anything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, oh boy. My mirror club. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, that's actually not fine. I have no items to use. Okay. There we go. This is what I want. Now I just need to find where the bomb flowers are. I hate this menu system with a passion. Bomb flowers, anybody? Bomb flowers. Apparently I don't have any. Good. Hey, asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Alright. I'd like to get my club back, please. Alright, it's covered in poo again. So, what do you do? Oh. Oh, okay. Thankful I had a fairy. Can you do this? I don't... Okay. This... <sighs> hey, asshole. Alright. Hey again, asshole. Maybe that just, like, breaks him right there. Let's see if he breaks out. There we go. Okay. Okay. Something with a little bit more power. Got it, okay. Uh, hey, I'm not gonna let you do that, but that's really cool. Okay, you don't actually care. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, I froze myself. <laughs> Ouchies. Okay. That provides one heart. Hey, Sidon, watch this. Yum, 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 yum. Ever seen a man eat 10 raw steaks before? Anyway. Alright. Dude, yeah, are you impressed by my raw sex appeal right now? Shut up! Oh, I don't like that it has little feet. I don't like that at all. Um, nope, okay. This time we're gonna remember to back up a little bit. There we go. Boom, baby! Okay. No. There you go. I kind of annoyed at how much power this stone of uh, the sludge like has. Like actually annoyed. Like why does this like like get so much special treatment? All right. Especially cuz it's like it's just going back and forth between two spots. So you just splash it and then you freeze it. Wow, I solved I solved your like like puzzle. There we go, and then he just goes back to 
What, there? Okay. Got him. Just throw a splash fruit at him. Boop. Okay. Throw a white choo-choo jelly at him. Boop. Okay. Hit him once. Zap. Zap. Okay, let's go back to the splash fruit. No, that's the fire fruit. That's a little spicy. Okay. Uh-huh. I think that's far enough. Oops, did not mean to do that. I am in trouble here. Oh, actually, that was kind of cool. Um, no, 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 no. No touchy. Okay. Yeah, that should do it. There. This is your first mini boss? This is a shitty mini boss. <laughs> this was shh, not a good one. That was wow that was wow. Uh the first mini boss that I fought was on the first Sky Island, like the the, the tutorial Sky Island. It was a like construct thing. It was like, oh man, this thing's fun. She's supposed to be a stingray? Yeah. She's supposed to get away from my man. Hmm. Yes. Yes? Hey, Patrick. I just had the most great mini boss fight of my life. The sludge like. You see, it's the mouth for me. Hey, Elise, since you're here, um, I'm going to wrap up by showing you a thing that I saw, which I can't beat. Uh -huh. I'm not even reading that. Come now. now <laughs> I hate this just let her talk I hate these efforts so much no seriously why is Sidon British he wasn't British in the other game was he I don't remember him being British yes yes <laughs> and she says yes yes like Tom no like <laughs> I, can't, I can't take this he was British oh, okay I do not remember that one bit. Why does she say yes, yes, like fucking Tom Nook? <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh huh. Yep. Dude, I'm like perfect dick. <laughs> and the song is like, why am I like perfectly dick hyped to him right now? Well, indeed, Yona. You really are annoy backwards. All right, let's see what this is. Yep. Yep. Why does she have horns? I don't know. Cool. Thanks for that. All right. Uh, let's see if I, the closest, the closest, the bliss, the closest place I can get to here. Cause she's a succubus. I'm trying to remember where this was that I saw this. I don't think it was up here. I'm looking for some ruins. Ancient columns. There it is. 
Okay. What is the closest place that I can get to ancient columns and easily make it over there? Maybe gas a shrine. You just wish she looked cuter. I just wish they had more voice acting in this game. If they're going to make it this long, they might as well let somebody else, you know, tell the story to me rather than me having to read it. If they're already going to make this game fucking long as it is, you can at least let somebody, you can give me the audiobook version, you know? Especially for 70 bucks instead of 60. They landed somewhere between Regal and Cute. No voice lines. For no, they got the voice acting down for Link. Okay. Yep. Hey, man. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Thanks. <laughs> they landed on a different map. <laughs> oh, juicy. Yeah, no, that's me at the club. Juicy at the club. So I like climb up the ancient columns like do 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 do. Uh, I did fight a moblin, which is probably respawned at this point now that I think about it. Moblin wasn't an issue. Didn't care about the moblin one bit. Okay, good job blowing there, Tulin. Good job. Skipping up the rock. Oh, I am? Okay, there we go. Oh, I made it up. Anything interesting here? Oh, and it's a blood moon! Yay! Everyone's favorite! The blood moon! Who's excited? Please don't scream. Oh, you're screaming. So let me just go kill this thing real quick and then have it respawn. Dude, you are not following me right now. I hate the Blood Moon way more in this game than I did in Breath of the Wild. I hate it with a passion in this game. Oh, that sucks. All right, so let me show my good friend Elise the thing that was like, yeah, I can fight. And I could not fight. No. By the way, that sword that just broke that had topaz on it, wasn't supposed to have topaz on it, was supposed to have um, a talus heart on it, but I didn't see the topaz was next to it and I fused it to a topaz by mistake because I didn't see the topaz. You son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what you get. That is what you get. I mean, you're about to respawn, but like, that is what you get. Uh huh. When the glow when the of the bloodstained blood moon shines, shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Yeah, preach, Zelda. It's also really weird that that cutscene right there has a different skip sequence than anything else. Everything else, you just press X. For that one, you have to press plus at some point. Don't know why. And I think it was Sam that said, I think it's X then plus to skip that. Don't know why. All right. So anyway, at least this is a Gleok. And you might think, well, you could fight that. You can fight a lion now, you can fight a Gleok, surely. So here we go. 
Maybe it's so that you don't mistakenly skip when you're like trying to, oh, I don't have any arrows. Okay. Do I have my at least sapphire rod? Yeah, put that away. Get your sapphire sword. I should save. Nah, it's fine. I'll just reload a different save. You're never gonna catch me! You're never gonna catch me! Away I go! And I got hit and I'm nearly dead now. Where is it? Where is it? Fuck me! And that's the game! <laughs> so, I tried sneaking up on it, and even with me sneaking up on it, it still rocks my world. <laughs> so, I am not ready to fight a single Gleok right now. I'm not ready for a single Gleok in my life. Okay, we're just gonna... Get on out there. Just, uh, oh! Okay, Pura. Get back to here. You don't think I'll ever be ready? Yeah, that's also how I feel. Just to take one of our white main. I hardly fought the Lionels either. I also found out, like, a month ago that if you don't take your weapons out, Lionels are just, they'll just look at you and be like, hey, and didn't know that and I wish I knew that where I'd be like hello friend try to get the hydras back you can't you can't sneak up on it you get like a hundred feet within it, even from behind it's like someone's there I'm gonna kill them the only way that I've gotten close to it is there's a little ridge that's off to its left I've gotten up that ridge and then jumped off of it and then done like slow-mo arrows at it. And even then, wasn't enough. It can feel the vibrations. Yeah, well, it means free lunch. You're not gonna turn down free lunch, are you? All right, let's save. I am getting to the point in this game for sure where I don't know if I wanna stream it anymore. Like, it's fun. It's a fun game, but this is definitely something that I'd like to experience. So, oh, my hair looks good today. Uh, for slow on my own. Um, and like, it's just, it's too big for me to feel like I'm making progress in it on stream. Even when I was... You could, we could say that I was more focused on let's push the story forward today. Like we did the labyrinth and then after I was in the labyrinth, it's like, okay, here comes story. And it still took me for fucking ever to get like one minor story beat <laughs> further. Um, so I think I said this after this week, if we, I will probably discontinue streaming it but we'll see how it goes maybe i was like yeah i'll stream it every now and then like oh i feel like playing zelda on stream today so get used to the idea that like i'm gonna be way further along than i was um if you're here for the story i recommend you find like a tears of the kingdom the movie on youtube learn the story yourself and then just enjoy me dying stupidly for two hours um, cause at this point when it comes to story progression, it's just, it's too slow for how much I stream and how long I stream for. It's already nine 30. That's way longer than I wanted to go. Oopsie poopsie. Um, Hey, should we raid? Yeah. Or just buy the game. Play it yourself. It is a good game. Yeah. I'll say we'll raid somebody who's live that I follow. Uh, let's go raid Max. I haven't raided Max in a while. Raid, uh, Platypus. I don't know the raid message. Do y'all have a good raid message? Actually, that's going to be it.
That's the raid message. Do y'all have a good raid message? Because <laughs> I'm just too tired to come up with one. Okay. Anyway, I love you platonically. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, probably playing this. I'm definitely reaching the point in this game where, like, I don't want to share the experience with anyone anymore. I still think it's a good game. I think it's a terrible stream game for me, especially. But I, I, I'd like to at least kind of go through to the time that I said I was going to spend with it. Maybe on Saturday we'll do shiny hunting instead. Shiny hunting Saturday. Um, but at least for tomorrow, we'll probably come back to this. Uh, anyway, I already said I love you platonically, so all that leaves is the platonic kiss. Okay, bye!